fortunate enough to get a deer this year. Really excited about that. Currently right now in the midst of trying to get everything processed and put away so we can enjoy it for the rest of the year. Now unlike pork or beef, the fat on a deer is very off-putting. That's where a lot of your wild game flavor comes from. Taking the time to trim that stuff off, especially before it ends up in the freezer, really helps for a better tasting meat. It seems like the longer it's on there, especially after being frozen, that flavor seems to leach into the meat. When processing a deer, a lot of times it gets very difficult when dealing with ribs. There's just not a lot of meat there. There's a lot of fat, and I want to try doing something a little different. Normally in the past, I go through, I cut all the meat out between the ribs, spend some time trying my best to get some of the fat cut out of it, and then it just ends up in the grind pile and turns into burger down the road. I've seen a technique where you take the venison, throw it into a slow cooker, kind of melt some of that fat away, then throw the ribs onto a grill, finish it up, and that's what we're gonna do today. It'll make processing this deer a little bit easier, and I just wanna see how these ribs end up tasting. The meat we're working with came from a nice mature doe that we harvested this year. If you have any interest in checking out the hunt video, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. This is all coming fresh off the deer. Uh, it has not gone into the deep freeze, so I'm not quite sure how things will be affected if these sat in the freezer for six months, pulled out, and then uh, this method used. The very first thing we're gonna do is try to trim off as much fat as we can. look pretty good you can see the shot actually ended up happening here still looking a little bloody I think I got it cleaned up pretty good but I think what I'm gonna do is actually just take these two ribs out so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into little two three rib sections here so we can easily fit them into the crock pot thing I did I forgot to turn on the camera for is I did end up cutting the ribs in half just because they were pretty long and I wanted these to pack into the crock pot just a little bit easier. Now we'll cover these ribs up with some broth. We have a little bit of beef broth laying around so that's what I'm going to use today. You could definitely use some chicken. We'll just raise this up till it covers them. We'll put this on a high heat for the next three hours. have been sitting in the crock pot for about three and a half hours. Things are really starting to smell good. I need to get the grill fired up and going here. I don't get along very well with brisket charcoal. I really like a hardwood lump charcoal, so we're gonna use that. When it comes time to getting things started, I've been taking a little bit more of a different approach. Instead of using a chimney or some lighter fluid, I've actually been just acting like I'm lighting the wood stove. A couple of newspaper knots, a little bit of kindling, and get things up and going.
go. That's really good. I think I let it cook in the crock pot just a little bit longer. That's good. That's really good. I would, I would put these up against any pork rib, to be honest. You can't really tell a difference at all. They're a little bit tougher, but not much. I have to guess the average person would not be able to tell. If you put these down in front of somebody, I bet they'd have no idea. There's just a little bit of heat from that cayenne behind it, but not much. It's really good. I was thinking the dry rub was not going to be enough because it's sitting in the broth. No. But it really comes through. What do you think? I think it tastes the same as pork. It looks different and it's a little bit tougher, sort of. But it's interesting. So here's my thoughts. Really enjoyed the ribs. I would put these up against any pork rib. Tasted fantastic. Uh, even ate some of the fat directly. Really wasn't a lot of flavor. I'm not quite sure if that would be the case if that stuff had sat in the freezer for six months and I pulled these out. But today, they, they really tasted fantastic. I like the time saving it did for me when it came time to process that deer. It was just a lot quicker getting those things cut out and just spend a little time getting them cleaned up. The one thing I do want to make note of that I didn't catch on, on film is after I got done eating and sitting there for just a few minutes, I noticed a little bit of a slight filminess that I don't get when I eat pork ribs. Um, went away really quickly after getting something to drink. But in the end, I really enjoyed the ribs. This is definitely something I will do again in the future. If you're someone that's processing a deer yourself, I would definitely give this a try. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!